piece of bread in here. I don't want the bread. I don't want to look at the bread. I just want a pastry. I just want a croissant. I got a little bit of this Trader Joe's Mediterranean hummus with this balala from Trader Joe's and some cucumbers. So this is my mid-morning snack. Good morning. Hey guys. <laughs> so it's day two on this gluten-free journey. I'm not sure how many days I'm going to include in this video, but um, Yesterday was a good day until bedtime, and then I just wanted a donut. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll share with you the photos of what I had. I really enjoyed eating. I felt like I had enough. Um, I loved eating the apples and peanut butter. It was Hey, so I'm just sitting in bed editing lots of videos on this President's Day. And this is snack number two. I'm having two tablespoons of peanut butter with a pink lady apple and I cut it up into the smallest bite so I could really just enjoy the crunchiness and the sweetness of my apple but this is snack number two I don't know if I'm gonna have lunch today I may just snack today we'll see how the day goes crunchy and sweet and really really good um, dinner was a different story I made pasta for my family wheat pasta and I had bought a couple trips ago from Trader Joe's black bean pasta now, Mind Over Munch, she's a YouTuber, had shared is this is one of her like must-have items from Trader Joe's. It's really, really good. So, in the package, it's these really big black noodles that are crunchy and, you know, when you, they're like noodles. They're dried. But once I sauteed them in, or, you know, cooked, boiled them in some water, they became limp and lifeless. The water turned black because the noodles are made out of black beans. It was a little freaky. And the texture was just not there. Like just the idea of it right now is kind of making me sick. <laughs> it was really bad. So my family all had this delicious pasta and chicken wings, which I don't do chicken. Um, I wish I had some zucchini noodles. I would have made some zoodles and I, I wish I had. Those are my favorite. So I'm gonna buy some zucchini today. Um, at bedtime, I'm not sure if you can, you probably can't tell outside. Um, it is completely overcast. We had a huge storm roll through and I am really susceptible to bad headaches when the pressure changes. And um, so last night at bedtime, it got a wicked headache. And I couldn't tell if it was the weather or if it was because I'm detoxing from the sugar, the caffeine, the dairy, all of that. I'm not sure. Either way, I still feel really crummy today. I actually took some Advil this morning because my head hurt so bad. Um, I'm going to get out some peppermint essential oil because that always makes me feel great. I'm gonna breathe that in and just apply it. It's nice and cooling and so that feeling will help. Um, but yeah, so I had some fruit cobbler to help my sweet tooth last night. I told you I would share with you guys about that. Basically, I've made this a ton and it's from a book called The Vegan Table and I've used it, I mean, every time I've done the Daniel Fast, every time we're trying to eat healthier, basically you take any fruit and you put it in the bottom of a dish and then you toss it in some flour. I'm going to go over here. Toss it in some flour. Well, now that I'm not doing flour, I use some coconut flour which worked fine. I think it's just to make it a little bit thicker so it just doesn't stick to the bottom. Then you add your crumble topping and that's what's delicious. So in a food processor, I did oats, um, some type of nuts, so like a walnut or pecan, it really doesn't matter. I just add a handful of that. Um, I drizzle some maple syrup. So even though I'm not doing sugar, I am doing honey and maple syrup, but I'm not like overkill, like, oh, I've got to eat that all the time. I'm not gonna <laughs> substitute sugar for that. I'm just using it sometimes when it calls for it, like this recipe calls for it. So drizzle in some maple syrup, uh, some vegan butter, put that in there, and then I think that's it. Yeah, and then you pulse it, and then it makes this crumble topping, and you put it on top, and you bake it in the oven 350 for like 15, 20 minutes. Now, I don't have an exact recipe um, that I use. It's just, you know, a bunch of oats, some walnuts, and, and it just makes, the more you do of each item, the more crumble topping you'll, you'll get. So I just eyeball it. And the fruit I used last night was peaches and strawberries because it's what we had and it was so good. I actually had that for breakfast this morning 
Now I've been doing hot water with lemon and honey in the morning because um, I still want that warm drink when I first wake up. Um, but it's not a coffee and it's no cream and doesn't have sugar in it, so that's been different. Uh, but yeah, so I've got my lunch packed. I'll insert photos so you guys can see I'm doing the hummus and cucumbers. I actually got a green juice too. And um, that's what I'm gonna eat, be eating for lunch. And um, yeah, so, so far so good. Um, I've actually lost three pounds in one day. <laughs> and you may go, oh my goodness, that's a lot. But we just went to Disney, so it's not, because we were having fun stuff at Disney World, you know? So, and I fluctuate. So hopefully it just keeps going down. That'd be nice. So we'll see. All right, I'll take you guys with me. I'll share with you guys how it's going and what I'm eating today. See you later. Hey guys, so I'm about to get into the car rider line to pick up my son in just a minute. It is 1.45 and I had a cup of cucumbers, some hummus, a green juice, a LaCroix, a little bit of popcorn, and I am really hungry. I don't know if gluten keeps you full or makes you feel full. What I'm learning is that I feel comfortable, but I just feel like I could eat. And so I just went to Panera Bread and I don't know if it's 100% gluten free, but I tried my best to find something that I thought would be good. So I got a cashew chicken salad, which it's not like chicken salad. It's like salad that had chicken on it, if you can see. But this is, it's got cashews and you can sub out avocado for your chicken and pineapples and mandarin oranges. And then the dressing I'm sure has sugar in it it's like two tablespoons so I'm not worried about dressing as much when I'm not home when I'm at home I'm doing oil and vinegar um I'm in a parking lot so I'm looking around and then I also got oh they put a piece of bread in here I don't want the bread I don't want to look at the bread <laughs> real struggles guys I got their tomato soup there may be some dairy to make it creamy in here but again I'm not like I told you I'm not being like so so strict on it I'm gonna do the best I can like I'm definitely not gonna eat this <laughs> oh I don't want to smell it like that is clearly gluten right because I'm not allergic I'm just trying to avoid it the other thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna purposefully add the croutons that are so my mouth is watering <laughs> real struggles right here I'm not gonna add that to the soup the other thing is is that instead of bread and chips you can have an apple I have never never gone to Panera Bread and asked for an apple instead no I, I haven't because I don't want to. I'd rather have the chips or the bread because the bread you can dip into the soup. There's nothing you can dip into the soup. So I told you about the strut. My tummy's grumbling. I told you about the struggles of um, last night with the pasta. So after I pick up the kids, I'm going to go to the grocery store, even though it's pouring. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you later. All right guys, I don't know if it's the rain or because I'm not eating fluffy carbs, but I'm hungry and we don't have enough stuff. So I went to the grocery store and grabbed more fruit. So we got halos for the kids. Peppers just taste good in everything. I will eat them with hummus. I will eat them in pasta sauce. I'll chop them up and add them to that. I'll also saute them with onions and have that tonight for a taco night we're gonna do. We got more strawberries. We went through the ones that we bought yesterday because I had a meeting today and I was in charge of bringing fruit. So we went through them already. I got some yellow apples, zucchinis for zoodles, the zucchini noodles. I've done recipes on this channel about that. Uh, I will never eat that black bean pasta again if I can help it. More bananas, cilantro, guacamole. I always keep a backup of these, sorry, the dogs just came in. These three in the pantry, uh, when we have one in the fridge, then if we run out, we have another one. So I got the hot sauce, the wings, the franks. Organic ketchup for the kids, I really don't eat it. Maple syrup, we get the 100% pure maple syrup. Pistachios, I really enjoyed snacking on those yesterday. So I'm gonna separate this out into like 10, 12 bags, little snack bags. Felt like chips, they were sweet and crunchy and then the process of getting them out, it was just fun, I enjoyed that. Got some LaCroix, just got a new flavor that to add to the mix. Now this is the section I will not be eating. Um, the whole wheat tortillas for the family for taco night tonight and organic ground beef um, for the family. I will just do peppers and onions. Uh, again, organic yogurt for the kids, organic eggs for the family for breakfast, and bread for sandwiches. We have meat and cheese for them. And then this, just to mix it up so I'm not just having vegetables with my hummus, I got some Mary's Gone crackers. I'm pretty sure I bought a brand like this a long time ago to try, and I was scared to try it because they just looked funky. 
But you know what? When you're eating gluten-free, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Here are the ingredients so you can look at them. A lot of you guys were telling me to be careful with um, stuff that says gluten-free. So check that out. Not too bad. I'm not eating any sugar here. And I think it says, yeah, zero sugar. So I look like I'm going to be okay. 140 calories for 13 crackers. I can do that. And hopefully they taste good. Maybe I could even try the guacamole. So I'll show you what is for dinner. And then I can guarantee you I'm going to be having some of these for a snack later tonight. I am starving. That's what I have to say right now. It is 4.07 and I am starving. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so it is day three of going gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free. <laughs> um, I'm just in my room and I'm about to finish getting ready. I went to Waffle House this morning with my husband. I'm gonna take this, turn this off. Is it too crazy bright? Here we go. Went to Waffle House with my husband this morning and that, I gotta say, was not fun. I love going to Waffle House with my husband on mini dates after we drop the kids off at school every so often, but um, no coffee, no grilled cheese, no toast. So I had some potatoes, I'll show you, and I had a water. And our waitress, who knows us very well, just brought a coffee right over when we first sat down. And I was so bummed because it was sitting right there. Like, it's one thing to, like, say I'm not going to have it. But then when it's sitting right in front of you and I didn't drink it, uh, I left there hungry. So I came home and actually made a Shakeology shake, which I normally save for after workouts. But I just need something fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of bummed. Um... I took a B12 vitamin as well, which I take every couple of days since I'm vegetarian. It's the only like supplement I really have to have being a vegetarian. I'm th sure there's others that I can enjoy having. Last night was hard. My headache turned so bad I got nauseous. So I'm not sure again if it was the weather and the pressure or if it was avoiding all this sugar and bread as I would eat because I know bread turns to sugar in your system. So I'm assuming I'm detoxing because it was a pretty wicked headache. It was pretty bad. So I feel like, I don't know if you ever are like this with food, but I just want something. Like I just want a pastry. I just want a croissant. I just want a piece of bread. I just, <laughs> it's not so much sugar, but it's like bread. Like I just want something and I don't know. I just need some coffee. I just need something to perk me up. I had some Ning Sha. I didn't share a picture of that. Um, I drank it before I took a picture. But I'm going to drink my Shakeology, and then for lunch I'm meeting a friend today, and I should be having salad and maybe some soup, so that would be nice. Anyways, guys, I'll bring you along. It's probably going to be like a three-day vlog. I'll put three days together, so all right. I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, so not a long car vlog. I just want to say that I miss food being fun. <laughs> I don't feel bloated. I don't feel extremely full um, or cozy, you know, that cozy feeling when you eat a meal that involves gluten, I guess, because I don't think sugar's the problem this time for me. It really is. I've never given up wheat. And so I just miss food being fun. So <laughs> I am, um, oh, you can see the water over here. This is a great view. Um, I'm on my way to lunch with a friend, and yeah, I already mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do soup and salad, so that's the plan. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's day four of gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, fried-free, fun-free <laughs> eating. Sorry the lighting is super crazy. It's extremely sunny. I'm in the parking lot of Target, and I went to actually pick up toilet paper and a few other things, and I ended up spending $100. Anybody else, you go in and it's like, oh, you need all this stuff. But while I was in there, I'm like, you know what? Target always has really cool products. Let me see what they have that's gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, fried-free. <laughs> um, yesterday I went to lunch with my friend and I had a really hard time uh, ordering. There was nothing I could eat on the menu but a salad. Nothing. So I compromised with the soup because I'm sure the soup had dairy in it, but I didn't add cheese because that's really the problem for me with the dairy. And, um, and I'm sure the dressing had sugar, but I'm not concerned about that. I'm worried about the added sugar. Uh, like when I'm adding sugar to stuff myself. So I had a soup, a cream of potato soup, had no cheese or bacon on it, and I had no, 
and I had a salad, a big salad. So um, I'll share with you the gluten-free, dairy-free, <laughs> fried-free snacks. Okay, so the first one I got was a hint of sea salt nut and rice cracker snacks. And this has no sugar added. That was one of the big things I wanted to look at. Um, my friend who actually has celiac disease, I think it's what it's called, celiac, she told me to make sure that if I'm going for anything that has that's rice, make sure there's no added sugar. What's the point of even doing this if you're trying to kickstart your, your body getting back to normal? <laughs> so zero sugar. So I got those. The other thing I got is um, some freeze-dried mango or not mango peaches freeze-dried I've talked on this channel before with my Trader Joe's hauls about getting freeze-dried fruits over over just dried fruits dried fruits they add sugar and I don't know how they do it or what the process is but I have done enough research to know that it's not really necessarily healthy for you it's better to have fresh fruit so these look crunchy I can hear them they sound fun so I'm gonna try these the other one I've had these before and they're so good and I can't believe it they've got no added sugar they're gluten-free no oil they are baked apple chips yay I got the ones with cinnamon I forgot about these I've done these before and um, my mouth's watering I'm so excited to try these the next one I got was a splurge because these were seven dollars all of these are like three bucks or under but they're the Aloha brand they actually had a protein powder that's plant-based and organic and it was chocolate or vanilla and I was really intrigued so I took a picture of the ingredient list so I could look it up but this is chocolate fudge brownie no gluten no soy no dairy um, and I don't see sugar either now there is liquid agave so I know that that does have sugar but it's like different do you know what I mean I'm not like nitpicking with all this stuff so I'm gonna try these because they're protein bars. That would be really good for me being vegetarian. 18 grams of protein for one bar. So this is what they look like. I'm looking forward to trying these. And then I got rice cakes. I forgot about these. I used to eat these all the time in high school as like a snack. But I'm gonna try putting on like a little bit of fruit with peanut butter. My mouth's watering, I'm just thinking about it. I could do like banana. And so instead of having bread, I could do a rice cake. So I don't wanna like overfill on rice, but I looked at the ingredients rice and salt that's it I didn't know so if you guys have other snack ideas let me know I'm super excited to um, to try all these um, so there we go I had breakfast this morning with my husband I had orange juice and a tiny little bit of potatoes and then when I went into to um, Target I got an iced passion tea with no sugar added so it's just brewed tea that's over ice but it doesn't have caffeine because it's an herbal tea so that's what I'm drinking because I'm caffeine free too just sounds fun doesn't it guys <laughs> all right I'll catch you later thanks so much for watching my gluten-free dairy-free sugar-free <laughs> journey so far. Tomorrow morning I'm going to do a weigh-in as well as a uh, measurements and see if anything has changed. I feel a lot lighter. I feel great. So you just have to stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure when I'll post it because I'll probably put a few days together again like this. And let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying these. So I'll keep doing them if you guys are still liking them um, up until day 21. And I'll share with you my perspective. I hope it helps somebody who's thinking about doing this. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.